that turn our leaders into megalomaniacs, we need to put them in check. Indeed. 7.45, quick apology, right? We had a downtime uh, in the studio here, so we weren't able to stream. Please bear with us. Uh, that's for those who are looking to uh, joining us virtually on Facebook and on YouTube, okay? Uh, so they won't see this new thing that I launched. Hey. Uh, cha -cha 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 -cha. I just launched this new this thing now. Oh, they can, we, are light, we are back on now, though. Uh, are we back? <laughs> yes, we're back on now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and if you, you caught me on that one. <laughs> I was just joking, I didn't launch anything. We are back on so they can see. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I must learn to keep my mask shut. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there, okay. there, 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 there. Let's take this Lagos story. Uh, Daily Trust has it. Sawolu promises greater Lagos, unveils campaign slogan. Yes, I, I think yesterday was the day that he flagged off his uh, campaign by again locking down some part of the, this is a new thing now, and we need to plead with our politicians to please take cognizance of the difficulties that we face moving around on a normal day. Mm. When you now lock down, you know, the, the after effect, you put citizens through so much inconvenience. I think that now that all the, the launches have gone through, let us all agree now that enough of this one million naira match, one million man match, and this and that, and stop the lockdown. Ordinarily, citizens are going through hell, moving around the state. But it's glad I, because for for once, I just said to myself, "Wait a minute, Songolu has not even launched his campaign proper, okay? But I don't think neither have his. Um, I don't think any of his opponents have um, actually launched their campaign. And so yesterday, he promised that uh, we are going to have uh, a greater Lagos. I would appeal to him, we don't need a greater Lagos, we need a functional Lagos first. Because Lagos, Lagos don't dabaru, it's Lagos is in a complete mess. So let's let's get the rhetoric right. We need to go back to the basics. We need to get Lagos working. That is what should be, that is what should be the mantra. Get Lagos working, not a greater Lagos. How can you be greater when the foundation is weak? So if our the opponents are pick on that, get Lagos working. That's what we need. Nothing is working. Nothing. And the cost of living has hit the roof completely. You can't move around. I mean, those of us in, in Suleri, I think we need to march to Baja and tell him to come and save us. We've become endangered species. We are completely locked down. To get to Lagos is a problem. You can't go through Ingbo. You can't go through Ujuelegba. To go through Kalakuta itself is a problem. We are completely surrounded. And then last week, the APC now had this rally that grounded everywhere. Some of their members even parked right in the middle of the streets. It's not done in any, in any civilized, uh, uh, any normal, normal environment that you lock down just because somebody wants to campaign. We plead, we plead with, 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 with the politicians to please take it easy on us, okay? And as I said the other day, and I stand by what I said, I don't think there's going to be much of an election in Lagos. Unfortunately, mm. I don't think there's going to be much. And I think this gentleman, so now that he is going to likely to have his second term, I think he should now say the, the issue of whether he get the second term that it was claimed by some of his supporters was stopping him from taking certain actions. Now that he's gotten it, we hope we will look forward to a functional Lagos, mm. not a greater Lagos. The first four years of this government has been woeful, it's been full of construction, it's been full of everything, has made life difficult. Desmond Elliott argued with me in the studio one day about two years ago that, oh, everyone, you need development. But hey, development can be planned. The four years of this government has been of construction, left, right, and center. But it's brought difficulties. Hmm. People have had to move home. I'm one of them. That extra cost is killing me. It's same with a lot of people. Some people not sleep in their cars because they know they can't get into the, into the island or move in other areas. Uh, the environment, the same thing. There seems to be a breakdown of government. We hope that the, the, you know the mantra of the of the government would be making Lagos work, getting Lagos to work and to be functional. I wish all of them happy campaign. Uh, please, please, I again, plead, take you know, take cognizance of of you know the difficulties that people have with living, noise levels, and so on and so forth. We can do these things without inconveniencing other people, and to his opponents. Uh, yes, especially to my uh, 
to Aburo, Aburo. Uh, Jando, is this who, mm. who said that I, I get a paycheck from uh, from Halausa. I'm expecting this. <laughs> you remember that one? Oh yes, of course. Mm. Uh -uh. Yeah, some someone even. I called... could have made some money off him though. I could have yeah. sued him. Yeah. Sued him. Mm. Someone did what? Uh, someone someone called the show. I, I think I kind I think it was yesterday or yeah. some, and said we know the party you belong. Was telling me that I belong to the APC. I said. Oh, okay. So you collect your check oh, okay. too. Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't many. Hank many. As him. Yeah. So I just told him that it's normal. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, you, you, you know. You know. The truth is, at this time, most politicians are very very sensitive. Right. They don't know that some people would. There's no friend no for in this job. Mm. If there's something to be done, mm. it will be done. If there's something to be said it will be said but uh, but uh, from what i can see nothing is going to change which in itself is very unfortunate mm. we need to give the ruling party a run for their money not so much to kick them out that is the decision that will be taken but at least to put them on their toes and not take us for granted like we have now mm. well let's see how, how it goes that we, we jolly well might come up with some surprises yeah uh, another inter interesting one here on page 30. Uh, this story reads, Pupils to be taught in mother tongue, FG. I had that this morning when the head of news was reading the story. Right. Okay. And, and what it says is that the Federal Executive Council said yesterday mm. that all kids are going to be taught in their mother tongue. Now, yeah. it says mother tongue. Mandatorily. Mandatorily. Mm. Okay, so a, a child who is in Ondo would be taught in Ondo dialect. The child from Ijebu would be taught in Ijebu dialect in, in a place like Edo State. You have the, you know, all kinds of different tones. Right. Fair enough. In principle, it sounds fine. But where this has worked better, to the best of my mind, hmm. is where they have the language as the official language to work in uniformity language. uniformity yeah uh, because uh, we need to take a second look at this to see how we can tweak it do we say regional language hmm. because when you say mother tongue you know because the, i think i saw somewhere yeah. that mother tongue is the what this language spoke i, I was going yeah i was going to say that that no. okay so we, we need to tweak it a bit to say that can we take a second look at it and see if we can make it make a language in that at minimum in that zone that will make that child functional later because where you have your official language being english hmm. that the child would have to operate in when he grows and so on and so forth how do you balance the two and i don't like the idea now i don't not too hot on the idea of teaching in english but the truth is that's the official language of the country right that's the truth Yes, that's a fact. So, what do you think? I, I, I kind of like, I mean, I personally, I mean, mm. one of the um, strongest supporters of teaching in, in local languages, yes. mother tongue, so to speak. Mm. But in this sense, I also identify with the concern of, because we move around, Nigerians, yes. move around. Yeah. Nigerians live in different parts of the country. We do all kinds of things by moving around as well, by settling down in wherever we move to and then live there. But I think that is the way to go. Because when we move to a place, we can't like just find a way. Even if the parents can't speak the language of that new place, the children, they, they, they will know how to. I have friends who are Yorubas, but they've lived in the north and they speak Hausa very, very fluently. Yeah, but that's so outside much as school or something. But the question is this. I like what you said. The question I want to ask you is, at what point do you start teaching in the national language? So uh, I, I was going to get there. So despite the fact that we speak our local languages, mm. you'd find out that in today's world, in today's Nigeria, mm. even children at home, they don't speak their mother tongue. They, they grow up speaking English. Yeah, because their parents, everybody now, uh, the in thing, even amongst whatever, is, right. is even parents who can't speak English well themselves yeah. want their children to speak English. Exactly. So, so what I'm trying to say is that English speaking for the kids, yes, ultimately will not be a problem, because naturally, ah, you're yeah, looking at it from you're yeah, looking at it uh, from uh, a cosmopolitan. For, for, yes, yes, yes. I, uh, yes a I child agree. that is born in Shaki that has from primary one to primary whatever mm. is in Shaki and and has been taught in Yoruba. 
Mm-hmm. Till his final year in primary Even school. Even till now, say that they are how, 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 what is it Yoruba he used to learn when he goes to federal government college? So, so I, I also, so I, I, I've thought about that mm. because I know that there are rural areas, especially there are villages, interior in some states that they mm. don't even know. Even currently in their school, mm. you still have to put in local language. A bit to, of a mix. Yeah, to be able to get them to where they, 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 they are supposed to. So this is my point, right? We should not because we should weigh the pros and cons right mm-hmm. because i think that the end the end point should be how we want people our children mm. to learn human capital there mm. are there are countries uncle jd mm. in the world that they don't speak english i mean yeah, they, but they, they, have, they, but are, they have a national they are, language they are, yes they do they speak and, a, but we don't have our national language it's English, and, and yeah. when they when their leaders get to get to public um, international mm. um, 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 what do you call it now events or anything, mm. you still find them not speaking English. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fair enough. You but, know? but but the problem is, we our own national language is English. She is the prim- the person you started with. A B D B D B. That's how he's going to write common entrance to go to federal government college. <laughs> so they have said that they are going to start teaching. They are going to start teaching them in English by JSS one. That's too late. I'm at a bon. Somebody who started private school. <laughs> So it, I, it, when, I, is, when I saw this message, sorry, sir, let, let me yes. just conclude. When I saw this thing yesterday, I, I yes. thought through all of these angles. And what I concluded is this, right? If, we, if we're if we starting them with mother tongue, mm. their brain, it would develop faster. The level of comprehension would be very fast. I mean, because we started them off from their comfort zone. Mm. So the brain is is enhanced yeah, very but, quickly. But so point, if, you, if we start teaching them any other thing afterwards, at what they, point, will, they will grasp it. it. See, it's an emotional thing. The practicality of it is that at what point do you move them to the national language? Are they, 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 they going to work in, in Federal Secretariat in Yoruba? They said yes as one. So yes, they're, they're, one. they're going so, to speak uh, English. So, so, like I, I repeat again, so the person that you thought, ah, be, 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 ogun, yoko, lobe, uh, all of them, uh, all of them uh, are uh, going to be taught uh, that uh, way. Is that in what language is he going to write common entrance to now switch to English? Be- before he gets to, okay, you mean at primary six, Abby? Yes, now. Oh, primary that's six why I'm getting what you're saying uh, now. Uh, because they're going to write an entrance exam at six. Now, primary six has to do common entrance. We're, we're, we're going to have to, maybe they've sorted that out, that maybe they're going to have to set primary six exams. In what language? In their lo- local languages. But the dialects are different. They're gonna to have to sort it out. Ah, if in if or your state, for example, or your state cannot set papers in just Yoruba, you know, because the dialect in uh, or your is different from the dialect you have in. Um, uh, uh, let me look for one that is so remote, like Ijesha. Ijesha people speak yeah. their own yeah. version. I'm not about yeah. Ijesha, even Ijebu, yeah, Ijebu, those, yeah, those those dialects yes. are different. I think that I think that ah, we have to go. <laughs> We should have a discussion on this and bring <laughs> education needs to come and sort it out. I think so too. <laughs> what, what, what was oh so boy, funny? We really are, oh what was so God. funny about that bitty bitty? <laughs> <laughs> like seriously, I, I actually never thought of the entrance exams. Like in, oh, in what language are they going to In what say? language? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's our show. Uh, we have to go now. <laughs> Bye. Bye. 99.39. And I want to assume that you would run because I want to give the listeners context for the conversation. In 2019, you were running mate to um, Atiku Abubakar. What did you learn then that you will not repeat this time? Yes, when is the president coming out to address us? There's a few things. One, I have a burden and a passion for young people. The fact that you have elected a man does not mean then you begin to order him around. The president will do whatever is good for the country at any given time. Mr. Adeshino, isn't the president responsible to the people? What should the next president do to root out stakeholders who are complicit? You fire them. Those that need to be fired are fired. 
It's looking like a brand new Chelsea, attacking with so much fluidity. And what can you say about that, Martin? I know you follow Chelsea quite closely. I live close to the Chelsea training ground. That's what you mean 